I'm Steve for WB8IMY, and what you see here is the WSJTX software suite, and I'm operating this from my home station in Wallingford, Connecticut. And right now we're in the FT8 mode, an extremely popular mode these days. You can see FT8 signals up here in the waterfall display. Quite a few of them, especially for daytime conditions on 40 meters. Down here you'll note that we're at 7.074 megahertz. That's the FT8 watering hole, if you will, for 40 meters. And the stations that you see in green are stations calling CQ, like this fellow right here. And to answer one of these stations, all I have to do is double click on one of those green lines and WSJTX will automatically configure itself to answer the CQ. It will go through the transmissions automatically and I don't really have to do a thing except watch. So let's wait for a good strong station here and we'll give him a call and see what happens. Now there's one. Let's give him a call. K8GIB. and You can see here our transmits enabled and we're calling him. I'm sending him my grid square FN31. You can see his signal up here in the waterfall display. And let's see if he answers me. He may not answer on the first go round. There's the time down there. About 13 seconds for each transmission. Ah, and you can see he answered me. He gave me a signal report of minus 1 dB, which is actually very good. And I'm responding here, R means Roger, and I'm sending him a report of minus 7 dB, which is also quite good. And he's responding. We'll reach the end right there at about the 13 second point. And he's sending Roger, 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 and at the same time you'll see a part of a window here. This is the logging window that automatically pops up, so I'll click OK to log it. And I'm sending him 73. And with any luck, he'll send a 73 back to me. And there's his 73, and the contact's over. And that's exactly how it works. And now how you can see just why FT8 is so popular.